Welcome back to a new video of Isaac Alveni's Art Classroom. Today we are going to talk about symbols. Uh, that's why I picked up for you this beautiful portrait of Ginevra d'Este. She was a noble woman. Uh, the, the, the painting was carried out by Pisanello. Every time you find uh, an image I encourage you to try to analyze the different components of it, of the picture, uh, especially thinking or keeping in mind that there is nothing left to chance. So everything has a meaning, everything is linked, everything is related to everything else in the picture. In this case, uh, we can pay attention to the foreground, we can behold the beautiful haircut which is fastened by these white strips, the long neck which marks a vertical line and also of course the way she is dressed up with beautiful and, and wealthy uh, garments or attire, uh, the decoration on the cloak repeats up to some extent the shapes we can also see in the background laden by the way with beautiful flowers and two butterflies that are flying away. Uh, one very interesting point and the one uh, I'm going to start with is this little twig, the branch of juniper because juniper is means uh, Ginebro in uh, Italian um, and, and, and so they are synonymous Juniper means Ginebro that's why she's wearing this little twig on one of her shoulders uh, another compelling uh, symbol is the butterfly because it is closely related from very ancient time to the human soul uh, why? Why there is a butterfly, or there are two butterflies in this image? Because at that time the seeded had already died. So we are in front of a dead person portrait. As a consequence, uh, it's it's even more impressive uh, this this beautiful portrait. Uh, in fact. It is s meant, it is believed that uh, her husband, whose name is S was Sigismondo Malatesta, had killed her. In fact, he had uh, her poisoned because he didn't kill her actually. Um, and therefore, he has been considered by historians and other people as a very evil man, a man of his time by the way because many uh, powerful people was this way at that time. Let's move on, this is a new uh, beautiful sample I picked up for you, it's Jewish melancholy, melancholy, you can see here on the title. Why did I pick up this example? It's because it's laden with many many different symbols. Let's let's take a look at it. Uh, first we have the scales. They stand for judgment and also for balance. Uh, why judgment? Because uh, when we try to determine whether things are wrong or right we usually try to weight the situation everything in the situation and as a consequence we can think of this process as um, if we were working with scales. Another example here is this of a symbol is the sunglass. The sunglass as you can imagine stands for time which is going by. I mean it's flying away like the butterflies we saw in the first image. We have also uh, very intriguing uh, symbol that is the magic square. The magic square 
as you can see here in the magnified view uh, is made up of several rows and columns of numbers every number in the uh, tile can be add, uh, added up to the rest of the numbers either on the rows or on on the columns. So if you add up, for instance, this first row, 16 plus 3, 19 plus 2, 21 plus 33, uh, sorry, 13, 34. This result is going to be the final outcome of every uh, addition in the uh, different columns and rows in the square. So for instance, 16 plus 521 plus 930 plus 434 again. So you are going always to get the same result. Uh, why 34? Because Durer was 34 at the time uh, this engraving, beautiful engraving, was carried out. And besides, you have these two numbers, 15 and 14, that put together. Uh, bring about the date when the engraving was carried out. So th this is an uh, uh, example, an example of a great mm, craftsmanship of art. And we on top of this we have the carpenter tools. Um, in this case they stand for human hands-on activity. Uh, they are related to the compass and the two big pieces of stones that have been carved out by means of these tools and they represent an intellectual activity of human beings. Finally we have this sphere uh, that is always a symbol of perfection, the perfection that this uh, winged godness cannot reach that's why she is completely bewildered by this situation. Uh, there are many other symbols in this image. You can I Im encourage you to try to find out what the meaning is. For, uh, you have the le leaden here, the cuddled dog. You have a tiny oven. This is an alchemist oven because some scholars have argued that this engraving has an alchemy, alchemist meaning. The search for the philosopher's stone, the stone whereby you can turn every metal that gets in touch with this stone into gold. We're about to finish. Let's move on. This is the next slide in the presentation, but I'm going to stop here. What you are going to do is, you want to get further information, you just watch the presentation, the complete presentation you have in top of this website, and try to write down all the definitions you need to uh, learn about. Uh, we will see next in a new video, coming soon in this art classroom. So, goodbye.